today I'm going to be sharing some Amazon summer sandals. I cannot wait to get started, so let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of fashion and beauty content. Always affordable, we're bougie on a budget. If you are too, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We would love it if you joined our little fam here. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into these Amazon summer sandals. Always got to do a happy dance. <laughs> I did not buy all of these yet. <laughs> if you haven't heard of Prime Wardrobe, girl, let me tell you. Prime Wardrobe is basically a try before you buy a program that Amazon has. Most of it is their name brand items like Jessica Simpson's, Steve Madden's, Sam Edelman's here, and a couple other brands. They send you a box that has a little sticker on here where you can just remove it and close it back up, then throw on the shipping label, take it to the UPS store and you're done. You can choose however many items that you want to keep or you can send them all back. After the seven day trial is when they do actually charge you. When you send these back, you just fill out a little survey saying which ones you're keeping, which ones you're sending back. I've had times where I've only kept one item. I've had times where I've kept no items. So it's just a really great program, especially for things like shoes or jeans or occasion dresses if you are needing a dress to wear to a wedding or whatever. I just thought that I would tell you guys about Prime Wardrobe because it really is a great program and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it so it's amazing. Go try it out. First ones that I want to start off with are these Steve Madden's or they're Steven by Steve Madden. Oh look at how cute those are. They're sparkly. They've got the three straps, a slight heel, and they're nude. It's a slight square toe, nothing too dramatic. They've got a cushion on the sole, so they're very comfortable. They fit true to size. They're very flattering on my feet. So adorable and sparkly. Definitely considering keeping these. I'm just attracted to all things that glitter, but look at how adorable. You can even wear these dressed up a little if you're not into heels. Look at these. I feel like in my last Amazon sandals video, I showed a pair that were very similar to these. I ended up sending them back and I regretted it every single day. So when I saw these, kind of really needed them. Look at the wood heel. I feel like all these abstract style heels are so trendy this year. Definitely is not real wood. You can tell that's printed on there, but still super cute. I love the big tortoise shell buckle. These have a slight square toe and they are what feels like a faux suede, a slight cushion on the bottom. So very, very comfortable. They look so good on. They definitely fit true to size. I'm really, really loving these. Those are beautiful. Now I have these Circus by Sam Edelman's. You guys, oh, these are another Tory Burch dupe. Look at how cute these are. I love the medallion and the quilting on the bottom. They look so high end. I love the cognac color. Very, very trendy and such a good base honestly. They do have quite a bit of padding and they are a really cute little square toe. I ordered everything in my true size and they do fit true to size. The leather is actually very comfortable and I like that the strap right here, it's not too thick. I love a slide for summertime because it's so easy and I feel like summer is the one season where I'm like the most casual. Moving on to another Amazon brand. These are by The Drop. Let's do this for dramatic effect. You guys. Oh my God. These are definitely staying here with me. She's found her home. Y'all, these are so trendy this year. I like that these are sort of squared, sort of rounded at the toe. They are very cushiony on the bottom. I like this like kind of cut out style heel. It is a little bit thicker, so it's gonna be easier to walk in as opposed to like the stiletto ones I've seen a lot of. And they're actually really, really comfortable and flattering. The quilting is actually really cushiony as well. There's like a really cute little gold detail right there. A 
if you have seen any of my videos, you've seen these. I really love these. I wear them all the time. Literally in every fashion haul video that I filmed recently, these have made an appearance. They're very, very comfortable. They are a square toe, just a basic little nude strappy heel. These also are very trendy with the two straps. Again, they have a similar heel. This one's a little bit thinner. Amazon does manufacture their own clothing brands and I have yet to meet anything by Amazon that was uncomfortable or ill-fitting or anything like that. Actually, this dress is an Amazon brand dress as well. I think this one's Amazon Essentials. Next up, let's talk about these Jessica Simpsons. We'll do the dramatic effect on these as well. I should have done that with every single shoe. Ooh. I looked up and down Amazon for these like flip-flop heel style shoes. What do you call these? I don't know, but these are so, so cute. I love the quilting on the bottom. That is huge this season. Again, with the really cool like abstract style heel. It's very similar to the two from the drop with the straight kind of geometric cut to them. I love the cognac color and I love that they're cushiony on the bottom. Very, very high quality. You know, Jessica Simpson makes a good pair of shoes. The only thing about these in particular is that the arch is kind of uncomfortable for me. But again, they are part of the Prime Wardrobe program. I saw that Katy Perry did a huge drop of shoes on Amazon, so I had to try them out. I love me some Katy Perry. I went through a whole phase where I listened to her album, the one with the California girls. <laughs> song non-stop me and my best friend were obsessed with Katy perry i had to try out her shoes how cute are these look at the nude with the pearls oh my goodness actually i had set these tory birches aside to show y'all that they are a really really great dupe for a pair of tory birches i actually ended up getting these on poshmark brand new not used for half the price. I paid like a hundred bucks for these. They typically run about 180-ish. I did size up half a size. I'm not sure that these exact ones are still available, but you really can't go wrong with a nude Tory Burch sandal, whether you're getting these or the Millers. I don't even know which style this is, but when I saw these, I knew I had to try them out because I really love these. They're such a good basic. I'm sure you guys have seen a whole bunch of dupes for the Tory Burch Miller ones. I will link mine that I think were by Sam Edelman, Circus by Sam Edelman, except I wore them all summer last year and by the end of the summer, the strap kind of popped off on me. So a very affordable shoe, but for me, they only lasted one season, which is why I went ahead and picked these up when I saw them on Poshmark. Again, I did size up half a size, but if you are looking for something similar, these Katy Perry's are so good. When I put them on, the bottom of the sole kind of like contours to my feet, making them so comfortable, like I'm not even wearing shoes. I really love the pearl detail. I also really like the buckle back here. I feel like she put a lot of detail into of this buckle and it's really cute so I had to mention that. The strap itself only has three holes, which it does fit around my ankle nice and snug. I like that there's not too much excess strap right here. As you can see, it's really short as opposed to like these. They do have quite a bit of extra strap. Just keep that in mind. But for me, they fit fine on the middle hole. You can make them tighter or looser. These are such a good everyday comfortable shoe that you can literally really style with anything since they are nude and they only have the pearl. Also, I'm not sure why it says smell me on here because it literally smells like plastic to me. So here are the second pair of Katy Perry sandals that I got. I was on the hunt for some strappy little white sandals. It's very trendy this year to have like a whole bunch of little dainty straps. I really love the slight square toe and the straps are like rounded, almost like bubbled. Also the great part about these is that they are adjustable. So if you have wider feet, you can 
and pull the strap out and make them wider if you need to, which I think is really, really awesome. The bottom does have a nice little cushion and it does have just a slight little sole right here. So you know you're gonna be able to wear these all day and be super comfortable. Very, very affordable, very flattering on the feet. Tried them on once and I was like, eh, I don't really like these. The second time I put them on, I changed my mind, so. That's why this seven day trial period is so good. I'm trying not to keep every single pair of shoes that I ordered. I've got decisions to make you guys. Leave down in the comments which pairs you think that I should keep because I think Josh would kill me if I kept all eight of them, plus the ones that I've already ordered. How adorable are these snakeskin strappy shoes? These are by Jay Adams. I see this brand a lot on Amazon and they always have really good reviews. This pair in particular comes in, I think, two other colors. I really, really love how strappy they are right here. They have a nice little ankle strap. The heel is a thicker heel. This one's about two and a half inches high, so not high at all. Very, very comfortable to walk in. I really love these. They do have a cushion sole so they are very comfortable. They just look so, so expensive. They do also have a square toe detail. Y'all, everything about these are so good for such an affordable pair of shoes. They don't look that affordable, honestly. They look very high end. The light catches them really, really nicely. They do actually have a nice texture here. There's Ellie's little pigtails. She just woke up from her nap, so they're a little messed up, but. You like these, mama? These are so cute, huh? I had seen a really high-end pair of shoes that were like tortoise shell, so I was on the hunt for, you know, something that looked similar, that looked very high-end as well. And I did find these on Amazon. I really, really love them. I love that the brown in here is sort of metallic, so it's kind of like a goldish, copperish color. And it has a really cute ankle strap. The heel itself is not tall at all. And again, we're seeing this like abstract style heel. This one has some like, sort of like ripples into it and it is an acrylic, so it's slightly see-through. Very, very high-end looking like this looks like a designer pair of shoes to me. It has a slight cushion, not as cushiony as some of the other pairs of shoes, but it's a low heel. It's actually very comfortable to walk in, very trendy. I like this one strap with the ankle strap heel. It does also have a slight square toe, nothing too dramatic. Runs true to size, very, very cute. But if you pair this with basics, you can definitely find lots and lots of ways to wear them. I think they are adorable and sort of different, but still very high-end looking. These are the braided shoes that I found on Amazon. They're not square-toed or anything. They are very cushiony and comfortable, a basic flat that has the crisscross. Great for everyday wear. This listing actually has so many different like braided shoe style. They have the one strap, they have the crisscross, they have the ones that kind of look twisted. They fit true to size. They're very cute. I do want to also include these Amazon Essentials two strap short heel. I think this is like an inch and a half heel. These do also come in several colors. They're very similar to the drop ones, except these are suede and these are a leather. I think the drop ones do actually come in a leather option, but I really like these. I went with the black since I did already have a nude, but these do also come in nude. They're very, very comfortable, fit true to size. They also have a cushion on them. The shorter heel is a lot more practical for everyday wear. I'm only 5'1", so I do like a slight heel in my 
shoe. These are a rounded toe. Again, Amazon Essentials. You really can't go wrong with the Amazon brands. And then this pair of wedges has already been one of my top sellers a couple months running. These are such a good Steve Madden dupe. You can wear them two ways. You can do it around your ankle like that, or you can move the straps to be like that so that you have like a mule style. This part right here is really, really stretchy. This is a faux suede. They have the stitching detail just like the Steve Maddens do. These also fit true to size. I wear these in every single haul video. <laughs> that I've posted since I got them. They're a great basic little wedge and I know that I will be wearing these for years. They're very comfortable, a slight cushion. They're easy to walk in for me. They're not extremely too high or impractical or anything like that. A great basic pair of wedges. I did a poll on Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see my shoe fails and most of y'all said yes. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because I do like to pull you guys on content ideas. I had such high hopes for these cupid white strappy heels. The only thing is that nagging little pinky toe just kind of like popped. <laughs> as I walk. So unfortunately, I am going to have to send these back. They actually were pretty comfortable. They do have a cushion on the bottom. This part right here is stretchy. I love the crisscross strap right here. I love that it has the little strap that goes across the front. Again, that's very trendy this year. I like the little stiletto heel. It's not too high. So again, for someone like me, it's very practical. I'm only 5'1". I do like to wear heels a lot, but I'm also a mom of three. So like wearing a heel a lot isn't that practical. So I do try to go for something that's slightly shorter. And these, even though they were a stiletto, the heel itself was easy to walk in. But man, that pinky toe, like I could just not get it to stay correctly in the strap. I couldn't really find a lot of these like white strappy heels on Amazon. I am gonna do a series where I shop at places that I haven't really ever shopped at before. So I'll probably end up ordering something similar to these. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss that content. I will link up some in my Amazon list that are similar. Really wanted these to work. These were like the one pair that I was like so excited to get. We all need a pair of flip flops for everyday wear, just running out the house, errands, running out the backyard to get your kids out of the mud, like me. <laughs> But I really, really love these Amazon Essentials leather flip-flops. The strap is actually like a gold leather. They're very dainty and cute. And the bottom is a leather sole with a cushion on it. I feel like they're an elevated flip-flop, so you can dress them up, but also dress them down. And they're just really, really versatile. I love this golden color, but they do have many, many color options options and the thin strap is just so incredibly flattering on my foot. I'm gonna tell you, you need these. And they are a great alternative for something like the Tory Burch and Millers where they're just a basic flip-flop but they look high-end. Just had to mention those because I'm gonna throw these on to run and get my son from school. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my shoe picks today and you know the drill, right? Right? Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye bye. Let me just go ahead and talk about two pairs of shoes you guys have already seen. Ellie's pulling my hair out. We've got Wrangler here today. It's his room. I'm just filming it. Hey, Brayden, what's up?